Listen, they're your backing dancers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we have a lot to talk about because when I say Anthony took me through it, I was so upset with Anthony this entire time, but we're going to start on a positive, okay? We're going to start with the positive. Okay. Yeah, go on. <laughs> um, so <laughs> one of the things that I do enjoy about your character is he's not your typical male figure that we do see in these period pieces. It's really been the reverse where Jonathan has, Jonathan, Anthony has to sacrifice everything to truly be happy. And so I really wanted to ask you, how is it portraying this new modern um, male in Bridgerton? Well, I think what's amazing is that, you know, I think period dramas are often told through and have been told through a female gaze. And actually what's brilliant about this is that you get the female gaze and a very modern woman in Daphne. And um, I think what, I, what really drew me to Anthony is that we had a chance to really show how the patriarchy really messed it up for men as well as women. And, you know, he's a man who's just completely not ready for the responsibility that he's, you know, he finds himself in. Um, and, you know, we're still talking about the fact that men need to talk more about their feelings and yeah. the mental health in men, um, you know, has always been a real struggle. Um, and, you know, Anthony is someone who's completely on the brink. And I think he is more concerned about other people's happiness than his own. Um, and as the series goes on, he just, his self-esteem just goes down and down and down and he's left completely empty. Um, so, you know, let's hope that we get a chance to, to, to build him back up again so we can see him Look, smile. I have, I have faith, okay? I have faith. But he's got a heart. It, he's a good guy in there somewhere. He is deep down inside. Underneath those like, mutton shots. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's interesting that you do say that because I find it so fascinating that with these characters, it's like their pride is really getting in the way of them just truly being themselves and being mm. happy. And so I wanted to ask you, um, who do you confide into or what do you do to make sure that you center yourself, but also too that you're keeping yourself grounded and making sure that you're making rational decisions? Yeah, that's a good question. I think for me, it's all about friends, isn't it? I think, I think that's the one sort of um, amazing sort of love in your life that you can really nurture and that that's not dependent on anything other than just finding brilliant people. And once you've found brilliant people, whether it's family, friends, or love matches, you keep hold of them and, and you keep watering those plants because I think they're the things that are gonna keep you grounded and get you through this thing that we call life. And especially in 2020, I think we've realized how important friendship is. Exactly. Yeah, I was just, the whole series, I'm just like, where is Anthony's friends? Like who who does he have to really confide into? Cause it's just, it just bubbles up. And then you just, yeah. through all the craziness that your character had to endure. Um, oh, no. but, <laughs> but I want to. But you know what? It's also because because I think the thing that's really interesting as well is his relationship with his mum because he becomes a sort of surrogate dad for the for, exactly. the for his siblings and also a surrogate husband for her, <laughs> and that he's sort of been robbed of his years of being able to grow. Um, exactly. And that's a real trauma. So yeah, he has no friends, um, but he talks to himself a lot, and I feel like he's probably hasn't slept for about six years <laughs> properly. <laughs> Hey, I could totally see that. Um, but, you know, there's still so many things that we can find similarities with your character. And I really wanted to know for you, in what ways do you feel like you are similar to Anthony? Um, yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> the similarities are hard to find, I, I hope. But the, the love of family is definitely there. I've got, I come from a big family, but I'm the youngest. And I've got three older sisters. The sense of being protective and quite stubborn is definitely true of me and also you know of course you fall in love don't you and I think if I fell in love with someone as brilliant as Sabrina who plays Sienna I think I probably would run to the nearest tree as well. See I told you that there's a lot of similarities that we have with your character um but where where would you want to see what this show pushes so many different boundaries which I love but what is one thing that you're just like I really want my character to be able to do this it could be like talk a certain issue or topic or breaking more tropes um in this you know in this what am I trying to say you know what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah I know I know exactly what you're trying to say I think that's a brilliant yeah, question yeah. <laughs> um I think I like I think to continue the idea of like mental health I yeah. think the, the, the thing of like trauma, I think, you know, we've, we've seen Mr. Darcy, we've seen um, in Far From Madden Crowd, like brilliant portrayals of men who are, you know, icy and they're impenetrable. Um, but, you know, hopefully through this series and an ongoing series, we'll be able to show that actually they've suffered a trauma in that they've never been given the ability to be able to emote or to be able to value, um, you know, vulnerability. Um, so yeah, let's continue with that, I think. 
You know what, Johnny? I feel like we need like a whole podcast just on dealing with trauma and men being able to share their feelings. I Shut feel like off. there's Shut more to this than we need to do. I'm serious. I'm gonna hold yeah, you. Let's to do that. it. Yeah, let's do it. And I, mean, I need to get a better backdrop so that I can you know, actually. I'll get my backing. My backing things behind. We're gonna get it together. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you so much. I really enjoy speaking with you today. I truly appreciate it. Yeah. No, I loved it too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have, Have a good day. day.